So I'm Brian Thompson McNamara. I'm the chief of the cardiovascular program at St. Mary's and I'm an interventional cardiologist. I'm from the East Coast and I went to St. Francis Xavier University and then I went to Dalhousie Medical School for four years and then I went to London, Ontario and I did my internal medicine there and that's when I developed a, a marked affection for cardiology so I went back to Halifax to train in cardiology after being away for a few years and then I gravitated to the interventional field so I ended up going to Calgary to Foothills Hospital spending a year doing uh, an interventional fellowship uh, under the really strong interventional group there. So that was kind of the sequence of, uh, of my training. So that was a, a long, hard road, but it was, uh, it was a good road and you learned a lot and you, you pick up lots of great nuggets of information from all these great teachers along the way, like we all did. Why did I go into medicine? Well, I, I wanted to be a fighter pilot, like my uncle, but um, my vision in my left eye wasn't that strong, so they wouldn't take me as a pilot. So I decided to go an alternate route. That is actually my first career choice, uh, believe it or not. Uh, you know, I, I, I had a lot of appeal to medicine. Um, my mother was a nurse. Uh, there was no medical people other than that in my family. And uh, I, I enjoyed the sciences and biology, and I, and I thought that that would be a, a great career choice. Cardiology specifically, uh, was fairly late appearing. Uh, I had done some research as an undergraduate medical student in the cardiovascular space and epidemiology and big data. And uh, when I finished medical school and did internal medicine, there's many subspecialties with internal medicine, but cardiology had an appeal, particularly acute care cardiology, because there's, there is some element of, uh, of immediate gratification. You have a patient who's in major trouble right now. And unless you act, their outcome is going to be poor. And there's, there's something, something appealing about you know, having somebody in trouble and being able to pull them out of the fire and watch them walk out the door. I'd been working in the United States for a number of years and had been looking to, to come back to Canada and I looked at a number of different places and then St. Mary's called and uh, I looked at it and uh, we had two boys that I wanted to grow up with a Canadian experience and I thought this area would be terrific and uh, I clearly knew some of the people uh, who worked at St. Mary's and those were the quality types of people that I wanted to associate myself with in a practice so it was uh, when that opportunity came up it was it was a pretty easy choice uh, and I haven't regretted coming here one bit. I've watched the cardiac program in the 10 years I've been here um, expand. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been terrific to see the recognition that St. Mary's has gotten through the Canadian Institute for Health Information Outcomes data that, that placed us in the top three in the country. So the Chief of Cardiovascular Services is largely responsible for patient safety and care and for administration of the program from the clinical side. So um, I, it's my job to ensure that St. Mary's has adequate cardiology staff, there's enough people on call to meet our service obligations to our patients, that the people that we hire are high quality people, that are maintaining a high level of cardiac care on a day-to-day -day environment, and that goes for the cardiologists, it goes for the cardiac surgeons and the cardiac anesthetists. We're all part of a big team. Each of those departments has their own needs, and we all interact on a regular basis uh, to ensure that the highest quality care is practiced here at St. Mary's. I can tell you, having done this for over 25 years, uh, the, the amount of technological innovation in the cardiovascular space is nothing less than breathtaking. Um, it's not even the same sport, let alone the same league, as when I started doing cardiology. Uh, imaging technology has advanced at an extremely rapid rate. Um, CT angiography, MRI, nuclear cardiac imaging, um, um, the image quality in the cardiac cath lab, the innovations in valve surgery and minimally invasive surgery, these are things that were, weren't even visualized when I came out of my training program and uh, it's a constant effort to keep up with that type of innovation, but it's also a constant effort for a program to maintain what's considered to be national standards for capacity and, and uh, imaging methods and quality in order to give patients the best quality of care, and imaging is everything in cardiovascular medicine. I'm not sure that everybody's fully aware of the magnitude of the great work that's being done here. You know, everybody from every department, I mean, you know, it's, it's a big machine. 
even though it's a small hospital, you know, the, the lights have to be replaced, you know, the hot water has to run, you know, the, the air conditioner has to run in the summer and the place has to have adequate heat. So, you know, there's a whole infrastructure crew in engineering that, that supports the place. You know, the nursing staff, of course, are the frontline people who are highly talented. Uh, you know, the physicians here are, are second to none in the country. And the ultimate, the ultimate result of the aggregation of this effort, you know, is a, is a really high quality gem of a program. So when I'm not working, uh, I, I've coached uh, my boys in league baseball and hockey for years. Uh, pitching coach, hitting coach, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm an amateur photographer. I love sports photography, so I enjoy taking photos of the of the boys and their teammates and posting them up in a in a cloud folder for the other parents to enjoy as well. Um, play lots of ping pong with with the boys and uh, watch some sports. Play a little sports myself. Uh, play some pickup basketball. So I'm a pretty ordinary guy actually. Once I walk out of St. Mary's.